if you're if you're a true musician, music chooses you. You don't choose music, you know. You know, so I mean the whole thing is whenever I did construction, when I was working on a doing produce and working in the produce department, working at a gas station, whatever. Like after we get done working, I'd get my check, boom, it went down towards another Les Paul or Marshall or something like that, you know, so this way we can get the band together. So, you know, it was always, that was the goal. How much do I put of me in my playing? Everything, you, that's, it's like playing football in the Super Bowl. I mean, why are you showing up? It's the win, you know? <laughs> It's all or nothing, man. Well, you know, it's not so much the dreams of being a rock star. You know, this is like any other teenager, and you know, you got your, you know, your, all your posters are, you know, like Jimmy Page and Randy Rose and Eddie Van Halen and Jimi Hendrix and all the guys you love. But yeah, I mean, any of the guys I know that dreamt of being a rock star just. Or, you know, to get chicks or anything like that. I mean, put it this way. The guys that I knew that did that, they're not playing music anymore. Because you're working towards something, you know what I mean? You know, music's amazing. Because it's just never ending, man. It never, never ends. You can never, you know, just go, well, I just, well, you know, playing a video game. Oh, I'm done with it. You know what I mean? You reach the highest level. You just never get there. Because there's always other songs you can, you know, or another chapter or another phase or another direction. I mean, it, it's, it's just limitless. You either have a work ethic or you just don't need, you know, come on, give me a break, man. I mean, you know, there are no struggles. You you, you create the struggles. If you think it's a struggle, then it's going to be a struggle. It's, just, it's all the way you look at things. To me, practicing was never a pain in the ass. If you practice, I enjoy doing it. Touring is not a pain in the ass, man. I enjoy touring. No, the strength's always there, bro. What I always say is just like, lions hang out with lions. You know what I mean? So all the guys I roll with, everybody, everybody knows they gotta carry the weight, man. So yeah, I mean, that's the way it goes. I mean, that's black label. My rig is basically the same thing I had when I was 15 years old. It was always my Marshall and, and my Les Paul. I mean, you know, just, just got my Dunlop pedals down there and then that taped to a, you know, a board of wood. I've always been using, uh, you know, Father Dunlop's pedals anyways, and then, you know, obviously, then I, when I met Jim, and obviously I've had a relationship with the rest of the, you know, the gang over at Dunlop. It's, it's great. I, I, I love having the fact that everything's all in-house, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, between the strings, the pedals, the picks, I mean, all, all the stuff that Dunlop makes, you know what I mean? But then uh, the great thing is with, with the guys, it's like uh, so amazing. It's just like I might as well just have part ownership with them because the whole thing is I can create and design things with them as well. It's just like music, it's endless. I mean, it's just, it's, wherever your imagination goes, you can, if you can build it, it, go for it. Strength, determination, merciless forever. This is Zach Wilde, Black Label Society. Keep bleeding black and keep bleeding Dunlop. <laughs>